Hey, 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 Andrew here from The Investor's Way and welcome to Woody's Weekly Wisdom, episode number 46. And today we're going to take a break from all the bad news and we're going to have a look at some of the more interesting and uh, better news. Now, having said that, when I say all the bad news, uh, interesting this week that we have seen the Australian, uh, sorry, the US stock markets hit an all-time high uh, again. So it's not all doom and gloom out there, but I thought I'd take a bit of a break from looking at stock markets and property markets and look at an article that um, I really think is doing a great job here in actually giving people some good information about how to uh, manage their money and ultimately grow their wealth. So this this uh, article today is all about um, offset accounts, mortgage offset accounts, and you know, basically talks about the uh, comparison of a home loan versus a savings account and the impact of you know, the recent interest rate rises uh, that we've seen. So we're not necessarily going to go through this um, article line by line as per normal, uh, but what we want to say here is uh, the article highlights the point that uh, for a lot of people, you have a mortgage and then you also have a savings account. And it highlights the fact that uh, with um, the massive rise in interest rates in the last 12 months, that if they have been separate, then obviously the um, the cost of the mortgage has gone dramatically higher and the return on your savings account whilst going higher as well, it's always less than the mortgage interest rate. So one of the uh, things that uh, banks introduced was the ability to use an offset account. And this article talks about um, some of the simple um, benefits of an offset account and, and, uh, and shows you with a bit of maths why that's the case. So the first uh, obvious one is that if we are paying a higher rate on our mortgage than we are earning with our savings account, then uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense to keep them separate because we're paying out more than we're receiving in, uh, in percentage terms. So by creating an offset account, what we're effectively doing is having that money sit against our mortgage and instead of earning maybe 4% in bank interest, it's actually saving us 6% in mortgage interest. So we get a better deal. We get more bang for our buck. And that's fantastic and obviously um, has significant impacts on your ability to repay that mortgage faster. So that's the first one and the most obvious one, of course. And then the second area that the article touches on is the taxation. Uh, and the, you know, the the impact of tax on our, our money. So already when we're putting money into a savings account, that is after tax dollars. And so we've, we've paid these outrageously high personal income taxes on that money. And so we've already given a chunk of our money to the tax men. But if we were to leave our, our cash in a separate savings account, uh, then you know, we're going to earn some interest on that and we're going to then have to pay tax on that interest. And so the, the, the benefit or the, you know, yeah, the benefit to our long-term wealth is dramatically impacted by um, you know, the, the loss of tax money. So in this example, it talks about anywhere on, on a $500 uh, interest amount for the year, potentially losing between $172 and $235 to tax. So we're left with a much, much less uh, amount uh, for uh, growing our wealth. So what it talks about here and uh, clearly demonstrates is the benefit of having that cash sitting in an offset account. So we're not going, we're not going to be earning any income from uh, that uh, cash, but we're going to be saving ourselves you know, the mortgage interest rate on our mortgage payments. And so that means if we keep, and, and we are forced to under these arrangements, we keep our mortgage payment the same, the interest amount on each month is less, and therefore we're actually making a greater contribution to uh, the, uh, the capital component or the principal component of our loan, and therefore reducing the balance owed 
um, more dramatically, which also means we uh, are going to pay it off far more quickly. So that's pretty much what the article talks about. And obviously, um, the secondary benefit of the offset account, not only is it paying down our debt quicker and reducing the amount of interest that we're going to be paying, but it also means we're not paying any tax on those savings. And therefore, we're getting you know 100% benefit for um, that transaction. And so that's fantastic, but that's about where this article ends. So for the benefits of my listeners, I wanted to give you some additional things to consider when it comes to offset accounts. So right now, we're, we're in that region of 6 to 7% in uh, mortgage uh, interest payments. And so the question you have to ask yourself uh, in terms of any cash that you're holding in an offset account is, could you do better elsewhere? So if you could earn more than 6% elsewhere, then maybe for your wealth creation purposes, it's more beneficial to have that money working for you in another investment rather than just offsetting your mortgage. Now, this is where it gets a little bit uh, complicated because there's no guarantees in life. With the offset account, you know full well that you are going to be um, getting the 6% return or whatever your mortgage rate is and having that impact on your um, your reduction of your mortgage. So that's that's a known, it's given, and it's locked in. Whereas with an investment, you don't necessarily have that certainty, and so it just adds a layer of risk. But the simple fact is there are returns that are greater than uh, mortgage interest rates available out there, and so it is a consideration. And so what I see a lot of my uh, clients doing is you know, having a, a, a bit of both. You know, the best of both worlds where they've got some of their cash offsetting their mortgage and some of their cash they're putting towards um, higher earning uh, investments. And so that gives them the best of both worlds and enables them to continue to grow their wealth. Now, the other thing that this article doesn't talk about, because it doesn't have the space, obviously, whereas we do on these calls, is that it also um, forgets the fact that the principal place of residence is just one asset that's not generating you any income either now or in your retirement. And so when it comes to growing your wealth, sure, it's great to pay off your principal place of residence and be debt free in that respect because it is non-tax deductible debt, but it's not gonna generate you an income either now or in retirement. So what the other consideration you need to take when it comes to offset accounts is could my cash be better allocated to helping me accumulate more income producing assets that are going to support me in my lifestyle? So sure, it might take me longer to pay off my mortgage, but at the same time, I'm accumulating investment grade assets that are producing an income now and into my retirement. So it's not quite uh, like most things in life, black and white. It's not. It's never black and white when it comes to how to use your money. But it, I just wanted to extend the conversation to include some additional factors to think about. So sure, you can do a lot by saving yourself tax on any you know, interest you might have earned by just having it in a cash account. You will be paying your mortgage down more quickly because you're offsetting more of the principal, principal component of your mortgage. So that's, that's all well and good and great, but could that cash be better utilized to help you accumulate investment grade assets that are producing higher returns than your mortgage rate and helping you accumulate more assets that are income producing, that you could use that income in your retirement, which you can't get from your principal place of residence. So there's some considerations. I hope that's helpful. Uh, and that is Woody's Weekly Wisdom, episode 46 for this week. Um, do me a favor, leave us a comment down below. Hit the like and comment button if you're watching on Facebook or LinkedIn. And if you're watching on uh, YouTube, hit the, the little bell to get notified when we release new videos and smash that subscribe button if you haven't done that already. The more people who subscribe, the more people we can get this uh, information out to and help people have better 
money outcomes. Hopefully that was useful. I know there's lots of people out there at the moment using offset accounts. So let's, uh, let's keep the conversation going. Leave us a comment down below and I'll see you again next week for another Woody's Weekly Wisdom.